Well, here's our street, our once beautiful, quiet street. Have a look at the mess it is, will you? Look at these trees. These are the trucks that they've left behind. This is the netball complex that they've uh, developed. We spent millions of dollars after they had to abandon the, uh, the project down the road because of their incompetence. And um, the EPA forced them to close it down. They've built this with our money and they put a fence around it and said we can't access it. And over the back there, there's huge netball co uh, courts with one road in and one way out. And have a look at the mess that's our street. Have a look at it. I used to go skateboarding. I was skateboarding down here uh, the other day. Have a look at the mess it's in. And this is Bayside Council. This is just an absolute hovel, this place now. It's a disgrace how council can, you know, can oversee a project of this. The amount of money that they've spent on this, it's an absolute crying shame. Anyway, that's the way it is. Um, we pay these, these CEOs, the Ilk of Mick Cummins, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. Honestly, they couldn't run a pie shop, these people. They are so incompetent. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Obviously, there's got to be karma in this world because um, you just can't do these sort of things to people and think that you're going to be get off scot-free. Who cares if the laws have been constructed that they don't answer to anybody? But, you know, there's got to be some sort of karma and some sort of uh, evening up somewhere. This is an absolute, you know, as I keep on saying disgrace, but that's the only word for it. Anyway, I'll put this on the old uh, Bayside Council Shames website and uh, YouTube channel. And I'll hopefully crank it up and we'll get a lot more viewers just to expose the uh, the incompetence of the of these people.